You know, boss. Good evening. So, where are we at? This is what you all have been waiting for. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> this is our boss. Good morning. What are we doing? We are going to mow our first lawn. Of 2019? Yeah, our first lawn of 2019. It's a new client, so we'll probably just do it before and after of it. Yeah, I'm not then, gonna. I think we might try to do a little bit more fertilizing today, but we're There's supposed to get time. a lot of rain starting at 11 o'clock, so, mm -hmm. and it's 9.20 now. So we probably won't do that. If we don't end up doing that, we'll turn this into review of the 61, right? Yeah. So, so we'll do I a review. I think we'll probably do that. Do a review. So first mo and review of the 61. Yes. All right. Well, let's see a before and after. I'm a little nervous because it's been so wet. Um, You're good. But yeah. So then we're supposed to get rain, like we said, tomorrow, uh, today and Sunday all day. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any fun. Again. This part here. So this part here. And then all the way up there where the boss is. And then the backyard, but it doesn't need much. this one guys this is the first one of the season with the beast and the walk behind that w35 the boss is finishing blowing it and we put a bit in to mulch this hill here and all around the house it's a big hill guys this year that we put a bit in the mulch extend the riverbed and redo all sod back there so we'll see if we get it even the boss good evening so where are we at this is what you all have been waiting for Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> this is our 200 hour review and i'll show you it's 193 hours of the ferris z3x yes and the boss is going to give you the review and then I'll show you some of the basic um, grease points and stuff on the mower. Mm -hmm. So I just ride the machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So the boss is going to give us some uh, some of her opinions on the Z3X guys. Um, this is a 61 inch mower, right boss? Mm -hmm. And That's the right. reason why she's going to give the opinion on it and look it's got, so you know, it's got 193 hours. When did we buy this boss? So we bought this in July of 2018. Yes. And um, we were very fortunate last year to be able to invest in equipment. To, instead of hiring an employee for 30000 whatever it would cost, we decided we were only running the walk-behind mower and a push mower, which mm -hmm. was the X Mark 30. So the boss wanted to upgrade to better mowers that made it more efficient so we didn't have to hire it, but we could take on more work. Right. So we were very fortunate to be able to, you know, um, get the mowers for efficiency. So keep in mind, I am 5'2". Um, we have the deck release. And you see, I do have to use two hands for the deck release. A guy might be able to just pull it, but it is a little heavy. It's not dropping the engine, but yeah, it is a 61 inch. Yeah, it's, it's a, a 61 inch mower. Yeah. Um, but it's fairly easy once you understand what all the way at the top is five inches, and then it has different holes that you can drop this pin in. So if this is five inches, obviously this is 4.75, 4.5, 4.25, and four. Now we usually put it here at 4.5 and when carl actually measured the blades which is what you're supposed to do to get your cutting height um this is cutting at four inches yeah and it's the same on my my um walk behind the 48 um out there so it's i had to measure it and get the right cutting height and you want to do that if you have different mowers 
because you're mowing the same properties with the mowers, you want the cut heights to be the same. Yeah. So I have little hands. I have no issues with the controllers whatsoever. Um, this is the speed. So obviously when I have it on one, this is little baby speed. This is what Carl likes to drive it on. Really boss, <laughs> really boss. Um, and then you can just move it all the way up. That's the boss's speed? <laughs> I don't normally put it on there. I usually run it on the third one um, because you can still, you don't have to take it all the way up to the third, yeah. but you have that ability that when you're on pavement going to and from, you can obviously go a little faster. Yes. Um, you, if you guys watch us, then you have seen Carl actually take this Z3 into traffic down the road to get to a property um so there's no issues with speed at all yeah it's got a 12 mile an hour ground speed now do we cut at that no because no. they're finishing mowers right and mm -hmm. we're in the hills and the mountains mm -hmm. so um but it's nice you can cut at that speed and still have a nice cut um, if you're cutting weekly, if you're doing it bi-weekly, then, then you got to double Then you definitely are going to have to double mow. Yeah. Exactly. But what mower are you not going to have to yeah, double mow? Every mower, if it's if overgrown. You're, I mean, especially if you're going quick. If yeah. I am just going slow and taking my time, this mower, without even a mulching kit, can really mulch up. I yes. mean, I have already gone through a huge pile of leaves and just mulched them all up into the woods. Our efficiency for leaf cleanups also. Oh yeah. So this is, um, just to get more into the engine, this is the Vanguard engine with the Vanguard cooling system. Um, yeah, that's the cooling. The oil, oil guard. Yeah, the oil guard system. So this oil guard system, you're supposed to be able, it's an EFI, which is what? Um, a, Electronically fuel injected, I think that's yeah, what it is. I, I think I'm not. I'm not a big motor person either, or engine person. We don't work on them. If they go down, then we'll just take them. I'll do the basic But technically on what an EFI engine is, is it runs like a car. Yes. And it's, it's the same. You know, saves thing. fuel, um, more efficient. So. Right. And there's the. So the oil guard system um, is supposed to, you only have to change oil once every 500 hours. So we have almost 200 hours on it. We are getting ready to start the season and um, we spoke to the dealer and it wouldn't be an issue for us to change the oil. Yeah, We're, just, I'm gonna change it. At yeah. 200 hours, I'm just gonna do it. So very easy to change the oil. You wanna show them? Yeah, this thing comes up off this hook. It's a little tricky. And then as you can see, the hose comes down, you take the, this piece off and then you turn the valve and drain it. Drain it all out. Now you said that's tricky. Is that really tricky? Because well, no, I have seen some people that have to like put an extra thing into the mower to suck it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like that. You have to a mower should have an easy drain tube for the oil. Yeah, I mean because most people want to do their own oil, and when we change the oil, it's a little more for us because I'll drain the oil all out, and then I'll run some clean oil through it for a minute. And then I'll drain it out again, and then I put the oil that I want to keep in it back in it. So, so um, let's see what else. PTO gauge is right there. Key is right here. I mean, I can even do this, but I usually go up through here and pull it. Um, if your hands are a little bit bigger, then maybe you would have issues, but... I mean, I don't. Yeah, I just, I just when I started, I reach under and just start it. Okay, so you reach all the way under, but yeah. see, no, just, for the PTO, I just do it through the top to yeah. turn the key. I reach under. Right, it's yeah. right there. So I mean, no big deal. Um, and then this is the brake release. Yes. Obviously, real easy. And it won't um, start with that down. Right. If this is down, it will not start. Yeah. See. So, and then um. Then what else? Oh, you can have PTO engaged and step off. Step off, and it would shut the blades. Yeah, it, it would shut the blades. Then when you do get back on, obviously you would have to just pull it up again to engage the PTO. But and that um, will it was still it will be still up in the up position. 
So it's just like a really quick, like, and yeah. it starts it back up. Um, let me see what else. Oh, one con, I can definitely tell you. And we actually know somebody else that owns a Z3 also, and they said the same thing. So I really like this pad. I love these along the side, especially because when you're standing, it almost hugs you. This machine really does make you feel very secure and it hugs you. The only problem is, is because the type of material and it's stitched, um, water gets in there and then it leaks out down here. Yes. So you guys can see my knees. Will get wet. Will get wet. So anybody on it. And this actually, I noticed this, the Z3 is worse than the Z1. I don't know what the difference is, if it's just because it's such a bigger area mm -hmm. and that's why, but, um, yeah, so that is that is the one con that I definitely find in the Z3X. And another one, that. you hear a lot of people with the gas gauge being down in there. Okay, right. Able to see it. Right, so the gas gauge is down there. I can see it fine. Um, see, guys, see it down in there. You can't, if there were light, it's down there somewhere. Yeah, but we don't have any light out here. Um, so that's the only thing. But then again, I have also seen people put it somewhere else. Like you can. Yeah. And we usually fill up every two days anyway. So we usually don't run out of the big, on the big mower. Yeah. So, I mean, we're mowing anywhere from 10 to 15 a day and it usually, it'll last. This really days. does last a long time because do you remember how many gallons that it, I think I almost yeah, want to say it's 11 gallon. We'll put it in the video guys and let you know. <clears throat> So yeah, so that's the one downfall with that, but we'll let you know how big the gas tank is because we've never had an issue of running out in this mower. Um, big tires, I love the big tires. Helps you hold the hill. Yes, and again, I feel very secure on this mower. When I, the very first time I went to go ride this mower, I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Even Coral was like, let's get a, 60, a 61 Z3. I'm like, oh, it's too big. I'm not going to ride it. You can get it, but I'm not going to drive it. I'm going to stay with my little Z1. I honestly will get this mower before the Z1. If I can, if I don't have gates to get into or whatever, I will take this mower even on, you know, small front yards because it's just so, the maneuverability um, and the yeah. way that it turns is great. The ICD deck, the way that it is, I have never had any issues with it scalping. So, and, um, anything else? Um, we have a striping kit on this that we put on. Oh, right. right? So, it, it does stripe good without it, nice uh -huh. without it. Yeah. Um, what else? You guys probably even saw that video if you look back, or maybe I can even try to link it when he put the stripe kit. Um, there wasn't a huge difference. It really does stripe the... <laughs> That's another reason why we really love Ferris is because it just does a really yeah. nice mow, um, you know, even without it having a stripe kit or a mulch kit or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can add all this stuff to make it an even... Even better. Yeah, even more of a finishing mower, but it's already, you know, you get what you pay for in Ferris. So I have a couple things with... Um... You guys wanted to know where you grease it. Let me see if I'll pan. I know. I know you have two grease fittings on the tires down here. Let me see if I can find one of them without getting my hand greasy. Okay, so you have one, one right here, and then you have one on the other caster. Of course, you have your three spindles to grease. You have one here, one in the middle, and then you have your one on this side down here. You guys see. Um, where else are grease points? You have a grease point right here, if you can see. And then same thing on the other side, a grease point. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, there goes my light bulb. So we lost light there. Um, where else is there a grease fitting? Because there is another one on here. Oh, over here, because you can forget this one. There's a grease fitting right here for the, um, for the, uh, to pull the deck up. And then I don't know if I got this one here. So I don't know exactly how many there are, and I think that's all of them. So hopefully that helps. So again, remember one here, three on your spindles here, um, and then you have one up here, 
and then your two casters in the front, your two bigger casters. And I would say all the other parts, maybe put like a squeeze uh, grease on there, you know, out of the little oil can. I don't do it. I should. But. And I have a question. So how many squirts do you, you normally use when you're greasing? Well, when I do these ones up here, I'll do like four or five until I see it coming out. You this, always see it coming out, yes. right? Now the spindles, I usually do 20 to 30. Or you can look underneath the deck and see that it will come out the release uh, valve in the bottom, mm -hmm. the, the spindle. Um, your fuel filters are, you have one here. Um, yeah, you have just your one fuel filter here. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Some of them have two hanging Did down. Did we tell them how many horsepower? Um, this is the 37 horsepower right. Vanguard. That, I like it because it has a lot of the horsepower. It's the same same with the walk behind that we have, the Ferris. Um, I noticed that some of the other brands had the 17 horsepower with the 52 inch deck and the 48 inch deck. And our Ferris has 22, I think, or 21. No, yeah. 20 and a half horsepower. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Kawasaki mm -hmm. 6 something V. So and the 36, um, we'll get into that more, but I think the 36 is 19. Yes, yes, right? I think so. so. But we'll do a review on it. Yeah, that. we'll do a review on it. So, I and again, to take the blades off, they're bottom bolts. You undo the bolt, it's not the ones you pull up through the spindle. I mean, through the top of the deck, they're bottom bolts, very easy to get off. It is a little tricky changing the blades on this because you got to kind of drive it up on ramps or get a jack. I don't have a jack, so. And then the oil change, like we explained, is easy. You do when you change the oil. Oh, mine zip. See, that's I've never even opened that part. But there is a filter under here that you replace, and that's where you uh, put the oil back in. Your hydros, you change. Um, they're right here. You always want to make sure on cold they're at the line. I never change the hydros. I have the dealer do that because I never wanted to get into it. As you can see, I have oil already. I don't need fluid hydraulic or 20W50 oil all over the garage. I gotta get rid of this oil yeah. that I have. Other than that, I'm not sure that we have anything else about it. I mean, it is a really nice mower. I'm liking it. And that's that's after 200 hours. So, so we do wanna say, um, we are not affiliated with Ferris in any way. You know, we are just a lawn care, a family owned lawn care and landscaping business. And we want to show you our day and our experiences. And we use Ferris. We, we always have loved Ferris. That was Carl's very first commercial mower. And, um, you know, this was one of our second, third commercial mowers. And yes. we just, we really love it. We love the dealer support. Now, if the dealer support was different, then we possibly would have gone with a different yeah, brand. I mean, we love four by four country. They're very, very, they're, they're mm -hmm. a good company to yep. work with. So even before they started, um, you know, getting Ferris, they actually, we, that's where we got all of our steel equipment and, um, yes, you know, if we ever needed to drop anything off for any type of work, then mm -hmm. that's where we would take it. So, um, yeah, great people. So yeah, I think that's it, right? Yes. So hopefully you guys like that review and it helps somebody, you know, make a decision or if they had any questions or you were on the fence. <laughs> um, we do love Ferris. Yes. So, and we have some really big news that we actually got from Ferris about the FW15. Yes. So Carl called today and just be on the lookout in the next couple videos um, about when they are available and all the specs on them. So, um, we're and I, excited. And I, I do got to give a hint. The price came in under what I was expecting. Yeah. So just under. So yeah. We'll let you know what they told us, how much it is and when they're available. Yep. All right. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Get the boss down.